wanted to show you our brand new 2020 Hyundai Sonata SEL in Hampton Gray. My wife's been wanting a brand new car for quite a while now. We traded in her 2016 Ford Edge on the Hyundai. There was nothing wrong with the Edge, but we generally trade vehicles about every three to four years. Generally, we buy Fords, but as I'm sure you know, Ford does not make that many cars anymore. And really, other than a couple of Fusions, we didn't find much locally. So the decision came down to either a Ford Explorer or the Hyundai Sonata. The Ford Explorers were so expensive, we decided we would go ahead and get the Hyundai. This is actually the fourth Hyundai that we've owned. We've had three Sonatas and one Elantra. Before I show you the car, I wanted to share a quick little story about it. I actually went to buy this exact vehicle in April. I was reading about the car dealerships not selling many vehicles and I thought it might be a good time to get a really good deal. Well, I was wrong. The dealership did not want to work with me. I had a real douchey sales manager who was really the old school used car salesman type. So I ended up walking out of the dealership. I went back to the dealership in July. They still had the same exact vehicle and I was able to purchase the vehicle for $500 less than what the purchase price would have been in April. And believe it or not, I got $2,800 more for my trade-in. So the moral of the story is don't be afraid to walk out of the dealership and either go to another dealership or wait because it can save you a lot of money. One of the main things that I like about Hyundai is they pack a lot of features into their vehicles at a pretty decent price. I'll show you what the sticker price was on this vehicle. And we ended up paying 24 six and some change. Now this model has the 2.5 liter inline four. It's rated for 191 horsepower. And the best thing that I can say about this engine is it's adequate. It's not a powerhouse. It's not gonna win any races, but it gets the job done. For the interior functions, I'll turn it over to Christy because she's been driving the car every day. I've only drove it one time during a test drive. All right, so show everybody the functions the car has. Well, to start, it's push button start. Um, it's got dual air, so. It's got air in the back also? Uh, no, it's the, like I can have it as warm as I want like because i get cold you mean driver and passenger yeah dual air yeah so since i get cold all the time i can have mine on 70 he stays hot all the time he can have his as low as he wants which is about 61 as low as it'll go okay um here you can make it go up or down um it's got heated seats for both the driver and passenger 
and it goes up like different levels mm -hmm. for each and then I like the the radio it's um, satellite radio it's got Sirius yeah it's got and Exum S yeah and then it's also got the HD radio as well um, and it can hold up to like 40 stations in the, the data bank. That's a lot more than my truck holds. <laughs> so, um, and then it's got... Does it have navigation? No, it does not have navigation. See, I thought it had navigation. But if you hook your phone up to it, which, as you see, I have mine hooked. Uh-huh. You hook it and put it into the USB port, you can bring it up. Bring what up? The navigation. So you can what, either what go it, what, through Waze or you can go through Google. Okay. Um, and so it doesn't have through. independent navigation, but you just do it through your phone? Correct. Okay. Um, you also have the SOS, which is equivalent to the OnStar um, yeah, I, I pressed it accidentally one time. <laughs> so they'll come up if you press it and say, what do you need? Where's your accident? Whatever. Um, it has the light dimmers. What are these two buttons? Um, you know, I don't know because I'm scared to press something and somebody come up and holler mm -hmm. at me. So you can turn on your lights. This one is pressed if you want your lights to come up whenever you open up the doors. Yeah. Um, they both have the mirrors for the vanity mirrors, I guess is what you call them. And they have the lights up at the top as well. I never even noticed those. And then you don't even have to close it. I found out the other day, I mean, you don't have to turn it off. If you close it, it automatically shuts off on you. It's like the refrigerator yeah, door. Yeah. <laughs> so, um back to well yeah the glove box it's got a nice a nice so, deep glove compartment excuse, doesn't it <laughs> excuse all my mess in there but um, yeah it doesn't look that big yeah under all the junk but yeah it's you know, a nice deep glove we, compartment we've got to have wet wipes and napkins anywhere we go um over here you've got the phone charger or battery charger you've got your usb port where you have to hook yeah. Your phone to that <laughs> USB port. To we be able found to get that your... out to where if you need to go to your ways or have your phone hooked up, it has to be in the USB port. If not, you're going to drive yourself crazy trying to figure out how to work it because it's not going to come up. And, um, and you also charger. have your 12 volt charger. Yeah. Now, this car does not come with a CD player. A lot of stuff now is not coming to CDs because nobody's using them. Yeah, I guess because, you know, we're showing our age. We are used to using CDs, but, you know, everybody uses satellite and everything else. Um, over here, you have, this is for your cruise control. You know, you press it and you, a smart cruise control. Conditions are not met. Um, so, then you have your your lane helper thing. I don't know what the Is technical. Is that the lane assist still? Yeah. So when you go off to the side, it beeps? Correct. Yeah, that's so, annoying. Um, but this is how you turn it down, whether if you want it to beep really loud, which mine is really so loud. So you can turn it off completely? Uh, you can't turn it off completely, but you can mute it. Oh, so yeah, I would probably mute it. Um, then over here is your callers. So I can make a phone call. I can hang it up. I can turn my radio up here. Or no, this is the um, station. So I can switch my stations. See? Um, or, you must be old. You got 60s, 70s, and 80s oh, Shut stations. up. <laughs> or you can turn it up. Or you can turn Try it. Turn that music down. I'm going to get a copyright violation. Or you can turn it back down. Um, your blinkers are all over here, you know, your lights, all that other kind of good stuff, your, um, windshield wipers are over here. Okay, so over here is your drive modes. Uh-huh. And if you look up here, I don't know if you can see it, but it'll always start off as normal. 
and you can check it and make it smart, custom, sport, or back to normal. I always usually drive mine in normal. We tried it in the sport. It and sucked. <laughs> of course he says it sucks. Um, here is the auto hold. So if you live in the mountain areas and you're going down the mountains, instead of holding your foot on the brake and going down, you just press that and it automatically does it for you. Um, then you got your glove compartment. And, which is pretty deep. I mean, it's I've got, all right. I mean, it, I've had bigger. And then you have your little change holder or whatever that would be. Um, your cup holders. They have these little push things. Like little retractable thing. Yeah, to hold your drink in there so it doesn't jiggle everywhere or whatever. In between your cup holders, there is this little thing. Much better phone holder than I have in my truck. Yeah. Because so, my phones never fit in in my phone holder yeah so you go and you put your phone there and it's done if it's charging if not yeah i guess you could put it the other way but mine's usually like this because it's usually connected because it's usually charging because you're on it so much nah i can't deny that you also have these little map pocket deals here i tell you one thing about the edge that i miss is behind the, the console cubby. there was like a hidden cubby hole so if you want to leave your phone in the vehicle or something you could stick it back there and nobody could really see it so that was one of the little nice features yeah, of the edge i do miss that and i do miss that the edge did have a bigger um console area but i mean i really like the car it drives really well it does drive good, uh, it does. and it's much quieter than the older Sonatas. Yeah, there's no hardly the, any road what, noise. What was the last one? The 2013, um, and and yeah. even even the white one before that that you had was really really loud. Well, I mean, I've had three Sonatas. Well, I've had an Elantra and two Sonatas, and they were all loud. Yeah, but this one there's hardly any road noise at all. This one seems to ride better. I don't think it's just because it's new. It just, it's a redesign, so yeah. it it's just rides really better, great. but it's really quiet. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's about the gist of the inside. Um, you have your little speakers here, and it's really, I mean, I'm not going to turn up the radio, but it's really got a, a good radio in here, I think. Um, so, there's speakers here, speakers there, speaker up there, and then the speakers in the back. Well equipped with the airbags. Um, that's some yeah. things people don't really think about whenever they're talking about cars. But I was just thinking of the speakers, like for old people. Yeah. Like it's really all you need. I'm not looking for any more than yeah. what than what it offers. Here's a view of the back from the front seats. It actually looks cramped right now from the image of the camera, but it's really roomy, even for you know a six foot one, six foot two adult. There's actually a decent amount of room between the seats. So you can easily sit four in here comfortably. And I believe the the back of the little armrest, mm -hmm. see where that little black bar is? Yeah. I believe that one's like the other ones where it comes down and you can get into the trunk through there. Or if you're trapped in the trunk and being kidnapped, you can get into the <laughs> vehicle and, you know, subdue your attacker yeah, or kidnapper. Yeah, if you're small enough to fit through that hole. Yeah, we're not getting through that. Yeah, <laughs> not at all. So, but yeah, it's, I mean, it's good. It, it's nice. It's comfortable. It's roomy. Um, it's really, really good for the price. Yeah. Hyundai builds a lot of value into their vehicles. Like yeah. you don't get the high performance engine, you know, necessarily, but you get a lot of features. You get all the extras. And since, you know, the engine is not a big thing for us. No, it's not. Well, I, when I was showing the engine earlier, I said, you know, it's adequate. Yeah. It's completely adequate for our needs. We're not going to win any races, and I know for a fact that I will lose pretty much every race. <laughs> but, you know, to get you out on the traffic, it has decent yeah, enough it's, acceleration. It's stylish. Um, and even, you know, even our son said that he wants to drive it. And I don't know if that's going to work, but, you know. He would rather drive this than drive the truck. 
Wow. I, I don't know if y'all saw, but it's, it doesn't have the, the shift. It has the push button start. So all you do is you, I mean, uh, the push button gears. There's your push button start. <laughs> so it's got the push gears. So all you do is you push the button, you put your foot on the brake, and you push whatever button you need it to go onto. Like, see, rich people are saying we've had that for years, but us poor people, you know, yeah. this this is fancy schmancy stuff so right here. You hit reverse, you got neutral. Oh, I didn't tell you. Look, it's got a killer back backup camera too. Yeah, this one's even better, I think, than the one in my F one hundred and fifty. It's, I don't know if it's any bigger. It might be a little bigger, but it it's definitely. It seems really clear. It's really, really clear. And there's a, when you're not really straight, there's a blue bar that comes up. Put it back up and you can show it. Let's see. Look, see my blue bar? Yeah, turn your wheel more and back up. Okay. And if you're straight, then you don't see the blue bar. See, I like that idea. Yeah, it's pretty nice. But. And it also has remote start. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, it's got remote start, and not only does it have the remote start from the keychain, but it has the iLink. So, if you subscribe to iLink, you can go online, or you can go on your phone, and you can um, go to the, to the app, the iLink app, and you can either lock your cars, unlock your car, start your car, you can track your car, which I've done before. Um, all your maintenance is there as far as when your next oil change is due, your fluids, everything. I mean, it's all done through that one app. So, like, say our son goes, takes the car out, whatever, and I want to make sure where he, he is where he's supposed to be. All I have to do is pull it up, find my car, and it'll show me exactly where he's at. So, I don't have to go try to track him down. I don't have to worry about him. I can search for him and he's there. Or he should be there. Um, also, what I really like is if somebody s steals your car, then you can go on your app and you can kill your car right then and there. Like... Stop but it. what if you're going down the interstate and you kill it, you're going to cause a well, wreck? Well, you can find out where it's at. You can track it. And then once you feel like it's at a safe spot, you can kill it and it won't. They, and then, then, then they can't uh, restart it or anything. Hmm. Huh, it's pretty nice. Yeah, it's a great feature. And then you can tell the cops where it's at. So, I mean, I really like that idea. There's a lot of safety features in this car that... I've not seen in anything else. So. Is that it? I think so. That's all, right. all I can think of right now. All right, we'll wrap the video up. All right, well, thanks for joining us, and I hope that we gave you a little bit of information. And see you later. All right, thanks for watching. Bye. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed yet and you want to, please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.